hello and welcome to another video section and in this video i'm going to be showing you exactly how you can activate your smtp on mail panda okay <clears throat> i'm going to walk you guys through the steps and everything you need to know when it comes to activating your smtp on your mail panda account okay so to get started you need to navigate to your sidebar and click on the option that says servers okay you click on servers and you see a drop down menu okay or a list of options there select the, the delivery servers option there which is the first one select delivery servers and then you click on delivery servers okay so as soon as you click on delivery servers it brings you to this page right here where you now have to click on the create new server option okay you click on the create new server option right here all right okay so you have this menu or this pop-up that flies out and has a list of options okay i need you to just click on the option that says smtp okay you can see the option right here that says smtp click on that option okay disregard every other option and it brings you to this page okay as soon as you arrive on this page all you need to do is to assess your hosting plan on another tab okay so if you do not have a hosting plan you can get one with Namecheap. Namecheap is easier to get and it's not very very it's not very expensive to start with okay so personally i am using Namecheap for my hosting plan and my domain and the rest of that okay so we are going to be working with Namecheap to get a hosting plan with Namecheap for those of us who do not have a hosting plan yet all you need to do is to go to namecheap.com namecheap.com namecheap is one word namecheap.com that's a that's a, a popular uh, hosting website a, a popular uh, hosting website that you can get a hosting plan from at a very affordable price all you need to do when you get to namecheap.com is to hover over the host the, the uh, uh, option that says hosting right here and click on the shared hosting option okay when you click on the shared hosting option it brings you to a page where you can see the price of each hosting plan and its uh, uh, features okay and then you can select any one that is best for you okay we're going to choose that of okay you can see we have that the first plan which is that of one dollar fifty eight cents per month and you have three websites which gives you a, a opportunity to have a three smtps okay you have the second option which is the stellar plus plan which is two dollar sixty eight cents per month and that gives you unlimited websites which is invariably unlimited smtp options and these are the two i think you should choose from basically i am using the stellar plus which is the popular plan and it is very very convenient for you to get started with okay or you can choose the the stellar plan as well whichever option you make it is very good okay i already have a namecheap account so i'm going to go to my namecheap account right now this is my namecheap dashboard okay so right away i'm going to as you can see the first domain name there which is lovettewhite.co you can see right here this domain name has my hosting plan right here you can see this option this icon right here shows that the hosting the shared hosting plan is attached to this domain name okay and that is what i'm going to pay attention to and that is what you also need to pay attention to as well okay you can make sure you you don't mistake this you can see the way the icon looks okay you hover over the icon and then you see a drop down all you need to do is to click on go to c panel okay you click on go to c panel and it redirects you to your c panel dashboard for that particular uh, hosting okay so let's give it some time to to load up okay guys so here we are on my smtp account dashboard okay so i'm going to duplicate this uh, tab first of all before going any further i'm going to duplicate it for some reasons okay i advise you do the same as well okay guys so as soon as you get to your c panel dashboard all you need to do is to scroll down scroll down until you see a point an option that says email accounts 
you click on email accounts and uh, it brings you to a page where you can now enter your SMTP options. First of all, you need to create a new SMTP option for this particular objective, okay? You click on the create option right here. All right, and it brings you to a page where you can create a new SMTP. Okay, guys, so first of all, you need to enter your username. Okay, you can see, make sure you read the instructions first. It says you, you can use letters, numbers, periods, hyphens, and underscores. Username can't be more than 64 characters. Okay, I'm going to choose a username to be, my username to be Daniel. Okay, sorry, I'm going to use image, uh, mail plunder, sorry. Mail Panda 2. Okay, I'm going to use Mail Panda 2. All right, so you choose, uh, you choose, uh, you enter your password, you choose a password. Okay, so you choose a password and you scroll down and then you check the unlimited uh, checkbox there. And then you click on the stay on this page after a create account or you can also leave it if you want to and then you create on you click on create to create your smtp account all right so success all right guys so we go back to mail panda and then right here we enter the uh, host name okay you can just name this particular uh, server whatever name you want to give it to is okay i'll just call it a uh, mail panda okay guys so for your username option you need to go back to the same place and copy the the username the uh, username you chose when creating your smtp on your hosting platform okay you can see mine was mine is a mail panda to at lovetrights.com okay you need to copy yours you need to copy it and paste it in here as your username Okay, some of you might be wondering how I got to this place, how I got to this place. Okay, all you need to do is to go back, go back to the email account option and click on it. Okay, when you get to your cPanel, after you've activated, you've created your, your, uh, your, you've done the SMTP setup on your hosting platform. All you need to do is to click on your email account to arrive on this place, on this particular page. Okay, so you need to select the one you created and you paste it as your username and you also need to paste it here you copy it as well and paste it here okay and paste it here as well okay so it needs to be here and here your password should be the same password you used when creating your smtp account on your hosting platform the same exact password please don't forget and then you paste the username on this particular section here should be two places on this particular section and this particular section okay so after doing that your port number should be 587 okay your port number should be 587 that is the port number for a uh, mail, mail mail panda okay don't forget to make it 587 as soon as you're done with this you've entered these details correctly you can, you can equally cross check to be sure that you are correct and then you click on the save changes option right here okay So let's give it some time to load up. It's updating the server. Okay, I think we are good to go now. So it says your form has been successfully saved. Okay, so guys, before this is uh, activated, you need to validate your server. Okay, it says here validate this server. Okay, so we need to, you need to enter your email address in this box right here, and uh, you will receive a message into that particular email address you entered here in box. Okay, after you've entered your email address, you click on validate server, a message is sent to you and you through that message that is sent to your inbox, you can validate your server. Okay, let's do that right now. I will enter my email address right away and click on validate server. You can enter any email address as, uh, at, at all. You're not restricted to enter a particular email address. As far as you have full access to that email address, you can enter it here and make sure you... Uh, check your inbox to see the message that will be sent to you okay so let's give it some time to load up you guys so as soon as you've entered your 
your email address and you uh, click on the validate server option right here you will receive an email message from mailpanda okay that will ask you to it will come directly to your email uh, address inbox that will ask you to click a link to validate that smtp you just added into your account and when you click on the link and go through the process in your email address your smtp smtp will be added successfully and you can get to work with it okay so that is all and i believe this was helpful if you find this uh if you find this uh, any bit confusing or you need further uh you need further clarifications do well to contact support and we'll be right there to help you